All right. Okay. Um, in this game, we are competing painters trying to uh, mix paints and contribute to the fresco or the altar uh, to make to get victory points, basically. Um, the way the game works is um, it's a hidden worker plate work, worker placement. So we'll be deploying workers using those sheets. Can I get one of those? They're closest to you. Mm -hmm. So we have we will have things like these in front of us, and then we'll have some of our apprentices. This will be behind a screen, and then secretly we'll be playing, we'll be planning these actions. So there are five different actions available, and I can say my first two people are gonna are like um, deploy two there, one there, one there, and whatever. Like so, <clears throat> this is the kind of deployment that we choose, and this is all behind a screen. Then we will all reveal together, and then starting with the first player which I'll talk how it's determined, we get to do column by column action. So if I was the first player, I'll dissolve the stall action first. And then if Khan was the second player, Khan will do his stall actions and then so on and so forth. Then he'll come back to me again and I'll do the uh, actions in the church, cathedral actions, we'll go around and so on and so forth. So that's the basic flow of the game. Let's get into some of the specifics. The very first thing do we do in, our, uh, in, in a round is we choose the order in which we want to get up. Um, this is right here. The order in which we get up uh, affects a few things. If we are getting up very early, we are kind of pissing off our apprentices, uh, asking them to wake up early, which will affect our mood, which will track here. It also determines um, how expensive buying paints will be in the market for you. Hmm. But the advantage of getting up early is that you get to go first. So that's the compromise. So right now, we will choose in this order. So yellow will get to choose their wake up time, then blue, then green, then red. In any future iteration, the person who's farthest behind in victory points is the one who chooses their wake up time first. So in this case, this was this is how it is. So if maybe yellow said they want to get, get up at seven, blue was like, you know what? I really want to go super early because there's something I want to do. They chose that time, green said eight, and then red maybe chose like nine. Uh, only one person can choose a specific time, so we cannot share a spot. Yeah. So once this is chosen, which was chosen based on reverse victory points, then we will do the do our planning behind the screen, like I talked. Then we'll reveal, and then we'll resolve them in this order. So starting with blue, then yellow, then green. Uh, let's talk about each of the action. In the market, um, no matter how many workers you have uh, deployed there. Um, you will choose a single stall and then take as many tiles as the number of workers you have deployed. So in this case, since I deployed two, I'll choose one of the stall. So maybe I chose stall number two. I can take two tiles from here. So maybe I chose this and this. This means I'll get three red and three yellow and then I'll close the stall, meaning I'll uh, remove all the tiles from this stall and throw them back in the bag. That's what you get to do. Uh, then. So like I said, the first player will get to do all of this, then the next player will take their thing. So I resolve as the first, each player resolves all their workers before moving on to the next. Um, another option at the, at the stalls is instead of picking any tile, if there was something that you were like, oh, nothing is useful for me, what you can do instead is you can just close the stall, meaning you can just remove all of the tiles. So it's basically a little bit of a mess up action. So you're like, oh, I can get a tile, but instead what I'll do is I'll remove all of these because I don't really need it. I just want you not to have that because that will interfere with what I was planning on doing. So those are the two options. Uh, so to do trade, if you want to buy the tiles, you'll choose a stall and then buy, grab as many tile as the number of people you have, or you can close down the tile. Oh, by the way, uh, remember I said um, that this is what determines the, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is how expensive each tile will be for you to buy. So you're buying these tiles, so I'll, I'm buying two tiles. Um, if I was a red player buying two tiles, it'll be just $1 per tile. But if the blue one is buying, then each tile will cost $4, or Taylor in this case. So wake up time affects that as well. It, tot it In totality, it affects three things. Your player, when, when your action gets resolved, so your player order, your mood, and how much the tiles cost at the market. Okay, the next action is the is the cathedral action where you're painting the fresco or you are painting the altar. So those are basically the forever available painting actions available and these are the specific ones available. So um, when you're painting the tiles, it's very simple. You say each each 
person that you have uh, lets you paint a single tile. So if I had programmed one person to paint, then I can paint one tile. In this case, suppose I had the, the yellow, the red and the blue, then I will return those and I'll paint this. Basically, I'll take this, flip it and keep it in front of me. Um, each tile that you've collected will give you income in the future. That's why there's a money symbol printed on the back. And that's it. And, and you immediately get the number of victory points that it says on top. Notice that there's also the bishop who's observing how we are working in this uh, cathedral. Um, and if you paint a tile that, that is near him, um, then you get extra victory points. Um, so if I painted any of these tiles that are surrounding him, uh, even diagonally, I'll get two extra points. So if I painted this, I'll be seven plus two. If I painted a tile on which the pers the, the bishop is sitting, uh, you will actually get three extra points. So if I painted that exact tile, I'll get. Before painting a tile, you can spend one money to move the bishop one step in any direction. So if I was gonna paint this, I can actually move him closer to me, this any of these three spots, and then paint this for two extra points. Um, once you're done painting, whatever tile you painted, the bishop actually just moves on there now. Okay. And then if I was doing two paintings and my next one was this, then again, I'll paint this, just take that, get two extra points, and the bishop will end up there. Okay. Um, like I said, you always have these paint actions available. So if there's nothing else to do, because the board is slowly getting captured, like tiles are getting taken away, you can always turn in the primary colors, uh, your yellow, red, and blue. <clears throat> to get to. Anytime you can also replace a primary color with the, with a superior, with the, the blended color and get uh, one extra point. But you only turn in three colors? You only turn in three colors. So instead of doing yellow, blue, blue, red, I could have done yellow, red, and green or yellow, green, green for four points. Uh, you could also, if you had three unique secondary colors, then you can paint with those for six weekly points. So that was the cathedral action. Then there's the portrait action. For every worker that you have deployed on the portrait place uh, there, notice it says three money, you get three money. So for every worker that is sitting there, we'll give you three money each. Um, is that this turn? Yes. Will there be more things here? If we play with modules, Got if you play with extra yeah, expansions. Then the next one is mixing colors. Um, each worker in this spot allows you to mix twice and the mixing is as you would think the intuitive way of mixing um, so basically yellow and red combine to make orange blue and yellow combine to make green and so on and so forth so if i had a bunch of color i can do two mixing so maybe i had two yellow uh, a red and a blue then i can just make both orange and green with those turn those in just take the other one um, i could have deployed more workers to do more blending if i had a bunch of colors uh, in this game, we are only, for at least for the base game, we only have uh, primary colors and secondary colors, but there are expansions or modules that include a third tier of color, the browns and the pinks, I believe. Okay. Um, then the very last is the theater. So notice that when we are getting, waking up early, our people are getting more and more pissed. Our mood is going down. If you deploy a worker to the theater spot, your mood goes up two steps. So right now we start in the middle, we will oscillate a little bit depending on our wake up time. And then if we deploy worker there, our mood will improve. Um, at, at the beginning of the round, when we have chosen our wake up time, if after all that we end up in the plus one domain, um, then we get the neutral worker. So we will have one extra worker to play with, so we could do one extra thing. Similarly, if after this, all of this has been done, after the beginning of the round adjustment has been done and we end up in the minus one territory, then we will have to give up one of our worker and we will get that worker back once we get out of the minus negative domain. And similarly, if we fall below the plus one, we'll have to give up our neutral worker. Uh, I have a quick question. Yeah. Let's say it's this round. Yeah. I've already placed my workers. Yeah. Um, all right, I guess this is done first, yep. which would get you here, and then you would be able to place. Exactly. Got it. So that's why uh, you get extra worker after you have done this. Got it. Uh, chosen the wake-up time. Mm -hmm. Okay, the game will continue in this way um, till 
uh, we get to a point so that that looks wrong. Uh, till we get to a point, oh, one of them is wrong. That was the wrong one. All right. Um, yeah. So the game will go on um, uh, till the point when there are six or less uh, fresco tiles left on the board. When that happens, the next round will be the last round. Um, and then that round will proceed more or less as normal, except uh, we will have two chances to paint the cathedral. So we'll switch our board to the other side. So we'll have two columns dedicated to painting because mm. changing the mood doesn't help anymore because you're not going to be able to use that extra worker. So we'll do that. And again, we can continue painting the altar um, to keep getting uh, at least some. That's the only way to convert victory point, uh, color into victory point. So yeah, we'll continue doing that. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most victory points wins. So when I pick a tile here, I put it back in the bag and take the corresponding color. Yes. Also, no matter how many workers you have deployed, you only choose one stall and take right. that many tiles from that stall. So you cannot spread your yep. picks from around. And then that stall closes. once you, So even if you bought one, the remaining go away. And that's the base game.